Today, I'm going to be talking about Noah's Flood. There are a lot of different things I could go on and on about from the Bible, but this is one particular thing that really kind of bugs me, because it, more than anything else, it doesn't make sense. Now, if you listen to modern priests, preachers, and Christians, the idea you get for God's uh, attitude towards the earth, it's like this, holding it gently in his hands, protecting it, loving it. But if you read the Old Testament, it's more like this. Every time he gets miffed about something, this happens. So I don't understand the dichotomy there. Because really, what it should be is this. So how does the story go? Well, most people who have grown up in predominantly Christian com countries are familiar with the story of Noah's Flood. Uh, God got pissed off because uh, the world wasn't going the way he wanted to and decided to kill everyone and everything on it, except for these eight people and uh, some animals. Two of every kind in one boat. Two of every kind in one boat. Okay, sure. All right. Now, uh, it rains for 40 days and 40 nights, and the world gets flooded. Completely flooded. Even the mountains. It says so in the Bible. The mountains were covered. Uh, that would mean, that would include, like, you know, Mount Everest. That's, uh, that's pretty high. It's roughly nine kilometers high. That's roughly uh, 29,000 feet. Buddy, that's a lot of fucking water. And they, they got that from rain, 40 days of rain, and they get uh, nine kilometers of water. Okay, sure, not. Even if uh, all the world's ice caps, glaciers, if every bit of ice melted and it rained for, yeah, 40 days and 40 nights, you would not get that much water. It's, there's just not that much water on the planet. But anyway, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just not going to go there. Okay, I'm going to take a look at... Uh, some other things that I have problems with with regards to this uh, flood. First of all, where did the water go? It stuck around for 150 days, right, a little less than half a year, and then it went away. Where did it go? That's a, like, nine kilometers of water. Where the hell did it go? The next is uh, an interesting point that was brought up by Richard Dawkins, who's uh, an evolutionary biologist who uh, that's quite the hate on for religion in general. Um, yeah, to paraphrase Mr. Dawkins, or Dr. Dawkins, I should say, uh, why did all the marsupials go to Australia and all the penguins to the southern part of the southern hemisphere? Why? What would be the point of that? And lastly, since I'm going to make this to be a fairly short video, uh... There was a YouTuber, I cannot remember his username, I really wish I could, that I encountered on uh, one of these uh, debunking creationists uh, videos. And he asked the question, why did God bother to save all these animals? Why didn't he just make more? Interesting point. I really wish I could uh, remember who said that. That's a real, real smart point. Uh, not to mention that, yeah... There's 7 billion of us on the planet now, and uh, basic genetics will tell you, 8 people, that ain't gonna cut it. And uh, final message to uh, my subscribers, as of today, 13 instead of 14. Uh, let me know which layout you like best. Do you like uh, the voiceover with the, with the films, or do you actually want to see my ugly mug? Let me know.